I hearken to speak. Uh oh. Last week, Indiana Jones and the Dial of Destiny premiered in Hollywood, California. And we were there to give you an up-close look at the star-studded event. Longtime fans, new stars, and some of the legendary creators and actors involved in the franchise from the beginning were there to see Indy off on his last crusade. To watch the full recap of what they had to say about this momentous occasion, head on over to Lucasfilm YouTube and social channels. The red carpet wasn't the only place celebrating Indiana Jones this week. At the Disneyland Resort, you can find new touches of magic that enhance the Indiana Jones adventure attraction, new film and attraction-based merchandise, and you'll soon be able to make like Marion Ravenwood and meet Indy in the park with a new walk-around character. At Walt Disney World Resort, a Dial of Destiny limited time experience and adventure outpost called the Den of Destiny is now open at Disney's Hollywood Studios, where adventurers can sip on exclusive libations like the weathered fedora, sneak into a photo op, and hunt down art and props from the film, as well as new merch at parks locations and on shopdisney.com. But what's way more fun than just listening to me talk about Indiana Jones? Listening as I talk with the cast and crew in the next installment of our interview series. Harrison, how has your relationship to the character changed over 40 years of playing Indiana Jones? I think I'd have to say not much. The character is a reflection of the story, and the story is of someone who is not Harrison Ford, but is Indiana Jones. And participating in representing the relationships that he has with his father, with his wife, with the young sidekicks that populate these films. I'm curious, as newcomers to the franchise, what Indiana Jones has meant to you. For me and a lot of people in my generation, especially a lot of my friends who are directors, that's what started everything. They watched that film. I was just watching it and loving it and wanting to be up there doing the things they were doing. And well, now I got to do it. I used to watch these movies so many times with my family. I used to watch them almost every weekend with my mother and my dad. Like, who didn't watch them and who didn't love them? Who doesn't love Indiana Jones? Yeah, I, I think about Kehu Kwan, who I just wanted to be that kid. And just really giving the sense of adventure, that like you can have these adventures too. And I think that's, as cliche as it sounds, the magic of cinema. The cast and crew of Indiana Jones, of Raiders, were my heroes. So of course I was there on opening day because you're talking about George Lucas and Steven Spielberg, you're talking about Harrison Ford, John Williams. These were my North Star. It's cool to actually collide generationally. You look at the beginning of the movie that takes place in the 40s and you jump to the 60s and it feels pretty appropriate to say that this is such a timeless franchise and a timeless piece and it was, it was wonderful to be representative of that. That's it for this week. For more on Indiana Jones and the Dial of Destiny, check out lucasfilm.com. And be sure to join us right here for This Week in Indiana Jones every Thursday. Thanks for watching because we do it all for you. And Fortune and Glory, kid. Fortune and Glory. <laughs>